So let's talk about three accession events that are happening right now. Three accession events we're right in the middle of, we'll do video conferencing last. The first one is BYOD, bring your own devices. I'm guessing that must be a threat to many of the businesses in this room. So must cloud, which would be the second one in here. That's meant it's very difficult to get a, a, a Google image of a cloud, so I decided to do that thing with all the zeros on it. It looks like something out of the matrix. And if you think about what's happening, the cloud is becoming this concept which is sort of laughable considering what the man from IBM said in the 50s. He said, we in the future can see that the world will need at least six computers. In reality, we're getting to the point where there is one computer. It's called the internet. And everything we do is a connection to the internet. How useful is your tablet or your iPhone or your Windows 8 thing or your laptop or your MacBook Pro or anything unless it's connected to the internet? I mean, it's just a crap typewriter at that point. Right? You can't even print anything out. I can type it and then you can look at it. That doesn't really work. Oh, I'll put it on a floppy. Oh, no, it won't. I'll burn it on a deep. No, it won't. So don't have any of that stuff anymore. So without the internet... None of it works, and the reality is, is that all the devices we've got today are just windows to that single computer. So how does that affect your business? Because if you're selling people desktop computers and laptop computers and printers and servers, and the customer says, no, 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 we just get all our employees to go and buy their own thing from Fry's or Best Buy or wherever, and, uh, and all our services are hosted on the cloud, what does that do to your business? I don't know. Think about it. And then the third one, and I will throw this in, painfully I have a vested interest, but I truly believe this, videocracy is changing the way that people live their lives too. Because the, the way the world has worked is since 1945, productivity in America has gone up on average by 1.8%. And that has gone up because of technology. We are more efficient because of technology. I mean, 25 years ago, remember, I was picking out those fax machines and putting them down on people's desks and making them look simple. And the old, wizened, 26-year-old sales guy was actually doing the pitch. And in those days, no one looked at a fax machine and said, well, we'll buy one of those because it'll save us on uh, postage. No, because those thermal transfer rolls cost a fortune. And people would turn up, 10 people at a time in an office would turn up to a fax machine demo and I had people turn up with a manila folder and say, can you fax that? And you're like, well, take all the documents out. Like, no, I'll just fax all of it. I'm like, it's not a teleportation machine. It's, but they didn't know that, right? It's, it's, like, it's like the Wittgenstein. They're, they're, what they already knew defined what they saw. And as a result, fax machines changed the way that people worked. Because people, for the first time, could get that quote out to the customer that afternoon. And therefore, they beat their competitors who said, yeah, I'll write you a, I'll write you a, uh, I'll write you a quote, and the secretary would bang it out on her Daisy Wheel typewriter, or if she spent 10, or you'd spend $10,000 on her behalf, she had a, um, and it was always a she, had a word processor, and then they would print it, and then you stick it in a post, and have you got the quote yet? Oh, yeah, I did, and I ordered it from the other guy, because he got me the fax three days ago with a quote, and I faxed him back the order. It changed the way that people did business. Now, here's another interesting fact. Technology in other things other than our world is not getting any better. Your car at 60 miles an hour is just as fast as a car from 40 years ago doing 60 miles an hour. I have noticed that. You could have a Bugatti Veyron, if it's doing 60 miles an hour, it's no faster than my old Subaru. And that is the fact for everybody. No one's driving around the world at 250 miles an hour unless they're on top gear and, and they're not actually going to a meeting. Aeroplanes, did you know a, a, a Boeing 707 is 20 miles an hour faster cruise speed than an Airbus A380? So you're not getting to any of your meetings faster. In fact, the only fast aeroplane we ever really built, Concorde, failed. And it failed ultimately because it wasn't fast enough. Because the market that needed it needed to be instantly at the other end. So businesses that aren't investing in this technology are going to lose against ones who do. Now, I'm not going to show, ask for a show of hands, because I did this at the last Synex event, and a few people put their hand up, and then a lot of people said to me afterwards, I wanted to put my hand up, but I didn't want other people seeing this. So I'll, I'll keep this, uh, don't put your hand up for this one. Many Synex resellers have a problem. They have one or two or three or five customers who do 80% of their business for them. 
It's the Pareto 80-20 rule. And the problem with that is, is that they spend their entire lives servicing those few customers, which means they never have any opportunity to go off and find new ones. Video could help there. Instead of having to spend that Wednesday afternoon driving off to that customer site to have that meeting, you could simply see them every day on video, speed up your business, just give them the video conferencing system, they're not very expensive anymore. 